Hey what is up guys, BD Prada here. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a couple of basic logos in paint.net. Nothing too serious, teach you guys a couple of tips and tricks that I use uh, when creating my own logos like distressing, making everything look old, retro and vintage, uh, making stuff uh, have like texture so that when you emboss it on your custom superstar, it kind of pops and it has like this own unique texture that's not in the game. So yeah, let's, uh, let's hop into it. Uh, so basically you're going to be able to make pretty much like uh, any of the ones you see on screen right now, like this Predator one, the Jacob Cast one, which is super easy. Maybe the easiest logo you guys to start with, it's just text and a circle, super simple. We have Super Kick Club logo, Distressed. We have Predator logo, but with a cool raised texture on it, uh, which is for WWE 2K20. Um, probably should have shown you guys that that early, but it's all right, it's fine, it's fine. And then we have a nautical star. Uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a nautical star. It's super easy, super simple, and uh, they're fun to use and they look they look great. So yeah. So first thing we're gonna do is open up a new page. We're gonna make it 1,000 by 1,000, just cause it scales really well. And uh, it's a good enough size to fit into the game without any problem. All right, we're gonna go ahead and delete our background using the magic wand over here, which you guys you guys probably already know all about this already. You know, I'm just trying to go over it. All right, next we're gonna go, actually first I'm gonna teach you guys how to make the nautical star. Really super uh, simple, easy to do. Uh, so first thing you wanna do is go to your tool, uh, the uh, shape tool. You're gonna go up to this, the uh, rectangle, you're gonna select star, five point star. You're just gonna go click on the screen, wherever you wanna start, and then you're gonna drag it down to make your star. Now, that's the first step. Super simple, right? Completely, completely easy. Next, we're gonna go to the line tool. And when we get the line tool, we're gonna go to the edges of the stars, just where the points start to meet. We're gonna click on it, and we're gonna drag it down about to the middle, which is right about here. We're gonna go to each point, like this one right here, drag it down to the middle, and meet that line we just made, and so on and so on. All right, so we'll meet that one. I actually fucked that one up a bit, but that's all right. As long as they're close, it should look all right. Let's see, there we go. And last one, there we go. Now it's now that it's uh, separated into five separate parts, I'm good at counting. I'm, I mean, I'm a homeschool kid, you know, for the most part, I mean, just saying, I'm pretty good at counting though. All right, next up, we're gonna go right back to the, to the middle of the lines where all the lines meet. You're gonna click on it and you're gonna drag all the way up to one of the points, the very top, try to get it as middle as you can. The more middle you get, the better it looks. All right, and we're gonna do that for each. Ooh, that one's really bad. Let's go ahead and undo that one. That was super off center. All right. Now, if you want really straight lines while you're doing this, all you do is hold shift, and uh, you actually get perfectly straight lines every time. But the problem is uh, they don't exactly line up too well with uh, this particular thing, but it's really good to use in uh, other, other, other logos. It really helps you out if you wanna keep everything straight and neat. But like I said, we're gonna go ahead and do all these. And uh, let's see, last one. That is very off center. Let's try again. There we go. And done. All right, so once we're done with all the lines, we're gonna get our paint bucket. We're gonna use black and white. This is the average nautical star, you know, very simple. Uh, we're gonna go, let's see, let's see if I can remember it right. We're gonna go, the first one's black. Uh, the next one's white, uh, then black then white, then black, then white, black, white, you guys get it, black, and then white. And there you have it, a nautical star, complete and done, super simple, and uh, it's just a really simple thing you can add to any of your custom superstars, it's really, yeah, it's just really easy to make. All right, since we already have this nautical star made, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys how to distress logos to make them look old and vintage and worn out. So what you're gonna do is make a new layer uh, right above the uh, nautical star, you're gonna go you're gonna go add new layer, and then you're gonna go over to effects. You're gonna go over to render, and this might actually be a plugin pack you guys need to install. It's called random shapes um, and lines. Although you could probably get away with it by just taking your paintbrush, dotting some lines on the page, like a bunch of them in one color. Make sure you do it in one color. That's the most important part about this. But try to make it as random looking as possible. Just a bunch of little dots with your paintbrush, and that should work just fine. All right, but if you do have the plugin, uh, we're gonna go to random shapes and fill. We're gonna make, uh, let's see, we're gonna go to primary and we're gonna make the outline color primary as well. 
then we're going to do make sure the all the opacity is up so we want it to be all one color as you can see there's like a little bit of white in there from the yin yang so we're going to take the shape and we're going to make it all eh, stars let's go with stars why not all right we're going to increase the number a bit all right hit okay next we're going to go up to effects and we're going to hit uh distort now some of these are plug-in packs as well but you can there should be a couple of distorts that are actually in the game uh, I think Frosted Glass might come with it, but Frosted Glass is a really, really uh, good tool. As you can see now, it's like all spread out and dotted. All right, uh, so that's all you have to do for that. And next up, you have to get your paintbrush. Make sure you use black, the same color as the dots you are, the dots you just made on that layer. We're gonna take our brush with, our brush with, brush with. I, I feel like I'm Mike Tyson right now. That was the weirdest thing I've ever said. All right, we're gonna increase the uh, brush width to about 13, just so we get a really good area to click on with the magic wand. We're gonna use the magic wand, and we're gonna hold down shift, and we're gonna click on the dot we just made with the paintbrush. All right, now depending on your computer, this could this is very taxing on your computer, I won't lie. Uh, it's actually, it really slows down the software quite a bit, because you're, you're selecting so many little pixels at the same time, the computer just goes, what the fuck are you doing, man? Can you please calm the fuck down? So anyway, you got all that selected, you're gonna go click down onto your nautical star layer, and then you're gonna hit delete. And you can go up here and you can delete the layer of all the dots. And now you have a distressed and vintage looking worn out nautical star logo. It's just, again, just a really cool and quick, easy tips that you guys can use when creating your logos. Just take them up to the next level, you know, just to make them look really nice and fancy. Just fake it, you know, fake your way to success, I don't know. It's, it's pretty simple. Do what I do. Fake my way through anything, you know? I'm a really good bullshitter. Yeah, pretty good. Not that great. All right, so next up, I'm going to teach you guys how to add a texture or an image to fill in your, uh, to fill in your text. Uh, so it will give your text like a nice pop or a nice, uh, nice feeling when you're in the game. And it just looks really nice. I don't know how to describe it, but you know, as we can see here, we have this nice galaxy uh, background for the font. And uh, yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to make that real quick all right so we're gonna open up a new 1000 by 1000 uh image go ahead and open that up hit the magic wand we're deleting our backgrounds the first thing i do every time when i make a new logo immediately delete the background so i don't forget it later and so it doesn't cause me issues down the line all right next up we're gonna grab our font tool we're gonna go increase our font to around 192 um anything you want uh, whatever size you guys feel like uh, you want to use uh but let's see what kind of font we're gonna use the capture it font because it's free domain completely free so you can use this logo wherever you want and it won't you won't have any licensing issues so that's another good thing to watch out for when you're using fonts that you download for free all right so we're just going to type in uh i don't know predator that seems like a good base for this you know i mean uh i don't know what the fuck that means i've never heard that word before in my life predator what 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 even is that what is that all right we're going to take our rectangle select tool because i want this to be a little bit elongated we're going to select the text we're going to go to our transform tool and we're just gonna stretch it out a little bit. All right, that looks that looks all right. Not very center, but that'll be fine for the demonstration of the video anyway. Deselect. Then you're gonna go and copy the image that you want to uh, use as your background, and then you're gonna go up here. Uh, you're gonna add a new layer, and you're gonna take it and put it below your text layer. It'll make it a lot easier. Trust me. Uh, then you're gonna go and hit paste, and we're gonna keep canvas size. Make sure you hit that. And now we have a really cool tree line in here let me see if i can stretch that down a little bit that's a little too big a little too big all right i think that's pretty much perfect let's see we'll go to deselect next we're gonna go back to our layer that has the text on it we're gonna grab our magic wand tool we're gonna hold down shift and we're gonna click on the transparent background and now we selected everything that we need all right then we're gonna go back down to this layer the layer with the uh, image that you want to use as your background you're gonna hit delete and next, uh, you can just pretty much just delete that layer of predator above it. And now you're left with a cool tree line uh, effect uh, predator logo. And actually, if you want to really want to make it pop and stand out, go to object. And this is actually, this is 100% a plugin tool you will have to have to get this. But I think there is another way. Actually, let me show you real quick. If you don't have the plugin tool, I believe you can just do this. Um, hold up, let me turn the, turn the brightness down, contrast down. Turn the radius all the way up. And we're gonna do this a couple times with the glow, which comes with it, I believe. Yeah, it should absolutely come with it, no doubt. All right, let's see if that works. It doesn't look like it's working. I might've just given you guys some bad information, but it gives you a really cool um, 
that looks super trippy and weird. It looks like, um, what is that show? What is that show? I don't know. Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. It reminds me of Twin Peaks, this logo right here. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of a, kind of an edit if you don't have the outline. I'd recommend just getting the outline. It's uh, it's a lot easier. A lot easier. You don't have to go through all that. So we're going to go to effects. We're going to go to object. We're going to go down to outline object. I'm going to just give it a nice black outline. Uh, turn the radius down a little bit. There we go. That looks nice and simple. Okay. And now we have a really cool and completely free domain free perfectly licensable logo with a cool tree line effect inside of it. Uh, so you can do this with any image you want. Uh, it works for anything. All you have to do is put the image below the text, hit, go back to the text layer again, just, you know, grab your magic wand and just hit shift and then click. And you've selected all of it and go back down to the image that go back down to the layer that has the image on it, delete and you're good. It's all that it is. It's completely and 100% easy to do. Um, yeah, it's just another great way to pop your logos and make them look a bit more interesting. All right, so this logo right here has a really cool texture on it, which I can teach you guys how to make right about now. As you can see, there's like a little, little line. So whenever you emboss it on WWE 2K, it gives us this really cool, like rigid, like almost like crocodile skin uh, texture. It's really cool. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make that real quick. We're gonna go back to this logo since we already have it made up. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete this right here. All right, we're gonna add a new layer on top. Then we're gonna go and find an image that has a, that kind of has a pattern that we like, you know, and then we're gonna hit copy and then we're gonna paste it back here. Or if you don't have an image that you wanna use, uh, you can actually go to effects, you can go down to render. And if you have this plugin, you can just render a couple of bars. It's really easy, really simple. I'm gonna turn the width up a little bit or increase the length. There we go, I think that looks perfectly all right. Yeah, it looks fine. All right, actually we're gonna take the, go to adjustments. We're gonna go to brightness and contrast. We're gonna turn the brightness all the way down. All right, that's, all right. That is not what I thought that would do. All right. Instead we're gonna go to adjustments, hue and saturation, turn the lightness all the way down. Okay, now it's all black. Now we're good to go, all right. Go back down to the layer that has our text on it. We're gonna hold, um, we're gonna hold shift, click again. Then we're gonna go to edit. Yeah, actually, no, 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 it's fine. Here we go back up to the layer that has the uh, bars on it. We're gonna hit delete. And next we're going to layers, layer properties. And you're gonna fool around with this. Uh, the blending mode is another really easy and simple way to get uh, get things looking good. Uh, but it'll give you like a really nice, uh, kind of like raised texture a lot of times. And it looks really nice. All right, let's see if I can find a good one. All right, none of these are looking too well because I think I, I used the black which is not a good one to use for that, for this. Not a good color to use when you're doing stuff like this. Uh, so yeah, we see we have right here. This is actually exactly what I was looking for. So we have kind of like this little glitchy effect now. It's kind of like off white, uh, white, and then just darkens colors in certain spots and lightens them in earlier. Light, lightens them in, am I speaking right now? Is this English? What, what language am I speaking right now? It lightens colors and it darkens them. So that's, all right, that's perfect. Got it. All right, so now we have a really cool text effect on here. And now when you raise it and emboss it on WWE 2K, uh, you can do this with anything. I'd prefer like getting like a PNG of like a chain link fence and uh, putting it on there and then uh, hitting like the layer properties and just blending it in. Uh, multiply seems to work the best with stuff like that. Uh, it's really simple, you know, and it gives you a really cool texture whenever you finally get ready to upload your uh, logo to community creations, not to community to WWE 2K to use on your superstar. It's just emboss it, you get a really nice raised effect to make your logo stand out and look super, super cool. But yeah, this is pretty much it for just the basic tips and tricks. Um, I got another video coming out soon teaching you guys how to uh, create your own pixel art uh, for logos. Like if you want like an 8-bit uh, skull logo or like an 8-bit version of your already your already existing logo. This works really well. We can use paint.net for it. That'll be in the next video. I hope to see you guys again. Again, this is just a really quick video. Um, nothing really too great in this video. I know, I know. I, I should be working on the more complex logos. I'm sorry, I just don't get a lot of time to film. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is just really easy to film for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, be sure to tell me um, what kind of logos you guys make using paint.net in the... In the what, why, what is wrong with my voice? Am I having a stroke right now? Jesus Christ. Brother, brother. All right, so as I was saying, yeah, 
if you made it this far into the video, be sure to tell me in the comments below what kind of logos you guys make using paint.net. I would love to see them. And um, yeah, you know, if you're not already, follow me down on Twitter. You know, maybe send me a picture of your logo. I would love to see it. Love to see what you guys create and love to see what you guys make using this game and using this software. It's amazing. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, don't know if we have a lot of videos coming out this week, but I will see you next time. But before you leave, let me hit you with that all too important too sweet brother brother